Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday Morning Stella! <laughs> well, it was a bit close, so I sort of did a half up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, I, want, I, want to, I want you to think about this. Are you living in a high performance state? Think about that. Are you living in a place that's taking you to high performance, that will allow you to operate at high performance. You know, I was watching a guy, so what does that even mean? Uh, mentally, emotionally, physically, like where are you at the moment and where are you going? But I was watching a guy who's a 78 year old vegan bodybuilder. Now, before I talk about him, I'm just gonna cut to him. My name is Jim Morris. I was a competitive bodybuilder for 30 years and I became vegan in the last 12 years. My journey to vegan involved lots of elements. When I stopped competing in 1985, I became a vegetarian. One of the things I hear is that humans are omnivores. I think there's a slight deception there. We can survive on a lot of things but just because we can doesn't mean it's good for us the protein in animal products is so laden with fats and chemicals and all sorts of stuff that's harmful to you when i was competing and stuffing down all of that sort of stuff i had lots of digestive problems i was constipated and bloated and just miserable all the time i don't concern myself about protein anymore because i know there's enough protein in what I eat. There's protein in fruits, there's protein in beans, and protein in grains. So I said, well, why don't I drop out the dairy, the cheese, and see if that helps. It kept me not only healthy, but I feel better about myself and how I relate to other creatures in the world. Over the years, I've come to know these creatures as thinking, feeling beings. I feel better about myself being a vegan, that I'm not hurting these creatures. Milk is for babies. Humans, as far as I know, are the only creatures that continue to drink milk once they've been weaned. And then we drink milk that's designed, that's formulated for another creature. I think a lot of people don't realize if they would stop drinking milk and all of the milk products, they would say, wow, I didn't realize I could feel this good. I know as a fact I would not be here and I would not be in this condition now had I continued eating the way I was. Now he's pretty cool. Well, actually, he's very cool. 78 years old, his name's Jim Morris, and he, his body is probably best better than most of us. And you can just tell he lives in this place of commitment and discipline and results. And just making sure the kids are okay, they are. And he, you know, at 78 years old, I know people who are that old and they're mentally disengaged. You know, they're, they've checked out. They're old. They talk about how old they are. They live in this place that their body's not working properly and their aches and pains and doctor's appointments and that's the highlight of their life, doctor's appointments. You know, and I understand that, but think about where Jim is. Like he was Mr. America years and years ago and if you watch the video of him, the sort of documentary, it's, it's very interesting. So not only is he vegan, but his mindset is extraordinary, but he was the first, I think the first or one of the first open gay bodybuilders and when he won Mr. America they didn't promote him because of that and it was an interesting story but what I took out of it and also when I was doing yoga today I was thinking you know are you are you living in a place of high performance am I living in a place of high performance where am I right now where am I going right now and it's a, it's a great thing to think about for you so what do you want out of every day Every day counts. I was with a 74-year-old last night at dinner and he, um, he's amazing. He looks 55 
And he said to me, I said, Neil, you, you look so good. Like you look fantastic. You look 55 at most. I said, what do you do? And he goes, I just make every day superb. He just makes every day, uh, every day a winner. Sorry, not superb. He said, I just make every day a winner. So for you, are you doing the same? There's clues in this success that these people are having. And he also said about his thoughts, he said, if you live a happy life, you'll just look younger. So for you, are you tuned in to your greatest potential every day? Are you tuned in to the greatest you every day? Here's a couple of things I'd like you to think about. So with your health, are you every day committed to something to do with your health? If you watch the documentary about Jim, he says when he trains, his mind turns off from everything in, in the world and he totally focuses on his body. He totally focuses on transforming himself into a better place. 78 years old looks amazing. What are you doing for that? Are you exercising every day? You can be at work and you can be busy and you can be whatever. That's fantastic. But if you're living in a high state of stress every day, you're going to look like that. Your body will feel like that. It's your responsibility to take care of these little chunks of time if you can get them. Every day I do 20 minutes of yoga, 30 minutes maybe of yoga to keep my flexibility up, to keep my body looking as best as it can. I'd like abs. You know, it's something that's important to me. I want abs to be there. I don't want a chiseled like bodybuilder look. I just like a nice athletic look. So I constantly work on that, mindful of what I eat. Are you doing that? Are you eating for convenience? Jackson's on the other side of the camera. How are you, Jack? Good. Yes, he's yeah. back. I love it. I love having him back. But his pop was put on a lot of weight and now he's on this health regime and he's lost so much weight. It's just a bit of commitment. It's just a bit of commitment. So he's lost probably 10 kilos very fast just by eating a little bit differently, exercising a little bit more. Now, you can own that space in your life as well. And if you, if you do, you will see results from it. That's all success is, a little bit of commitment every single day. Jim Morris is living the, the beautiful, a beautiful bodybuilder physique. A little bit of commitment every single day. Neil, who's 74 years old, mindset of a 50-year-old, look of a 50-year-old, a little bit of commitment every day to make each day a winner. If you smoke, I just cannot understand it. I can't understand it why you would want to limit your body. I was, I was also dealing with a guy, I, was I, was, I had an appointment with a guy who was a smoker and um, he was sitting across the table from me and he was talking to me and I could smell it so much. It was so off-putting, it wasn't funny. He couldn't, it didn't matter to him because he was the smoker. But when he was talking to me more and more and more as he breathed my way, I could smell it and I almost had to just step back you know, and it's like, if you're, if you're a smoker, you may not notice this, but other people can. Other people can smell it. Sometimes it can change your complexion and make you look like not super healthy. You're filling your body with smoke every day, sometimes 20 times a day to get that nicotine hit. But here's my question for you. Is that nicotine hit worth the adverse effects that it has on your health? and also all those around you who can smell it from a mile away. If you're in my sort of business where you deal with people every day, you can't afford to have people s smelling that from you because it will, it will be off-putting and no amount of chewing gum will fix it. So if you're not concerned enough about your health to stop, what about the other people, the effect that it has on other people around you who can smell it and it has to take a couple of steps back? You want to be an attraction person. You want people to be attracted to you if you're in business, if you deal with people every day, if you want people to connect with you. And for a non-smoker dealing with a smoker, it's, it's really off-putting because it's strong and that's all they can think about. So if you're engaged with them and trying to share a message, they're going to be thinking about that first and then they're going to be trying to take in your message. So you're already a couple of steps back. The other thing is sugar. Sugar. Sugar is like, it's cool to eat sometimes, but sugar goes straight here. It goes straight here. And I notice it. If I eat too much sugar, straight here. And I start to put on weight straight away. And it, you can see it here. 
So is it worth, and sugar is also a poison for the mind. Your mind cannot operate at its highest potential when you're overloaded with sugar. Energy drinks, cakes, lollies, all of these sorts of things. We're getting the palm tree in the back there. <laughs> I said to Jack before we started, let's get a palm tree in the back. <laughs> it looks tropical. But sugar, if you want to poison your mind, put on weight, and have an up and down run every day, you can't operate in a high performance state if you're constantly filling yourself with sugar. Whole foods, great foods, healthy foods, at a really balanced diet will not only help your body to stay at a, an ideal weight, but it'll also help your mind to operate at a high energetic level, a highly intuitive level making sure the kids are still there, a, a really high level of intuition. And intuition is the thing that will show you the path. I've said it before in other videos, but unless you're committed to this place, unless you're committed to operate in a high performance state, your life will not be high performance. You might have glimpses of it, but you won't sustain it. And success is about the long game. It's about the long haul, but you have to treat your body like the high performance machine that it is. Drinking too much is another topic altogether. We know the outcome of that. I want you to think about this. If you want to upstep the results in your life, if you want to upstep the outcome in, outcomes in your life, if you want to create a life that's just better all around, you have to start on the inside first. You have to make daily unwavering commitments to high performance. If you can learn the art of doing this and making great choices along the way and saying no to things maybe that you would have said yes to before, it's not always easy to stop doing that. But if you can make slight little changes every day, over time, you will see slight little changes in the direction of the things that you want. And eventually, the things that you want will be attracted to you at such a rapid rate, your health, your fitness, your physique, your mind, your thoughts, your outcome, your wealth, your results, your family, your people, your everything around you because you will feel better all around and your life will be better all around. That's how it works. Are you committed to a high performance state? And if you're not, it's easily changed. And if you are, keep going because the results will be magnificent. All right, let's get into this week. Good to catch up with you. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.